OBS is available in the default repository of Ubuntu and can be installed using the following command. In this section, I will show you how you can generate an invite to stream your audio and video over VDO.ninja and how you can start streaming from your phone. First, go to VDO.ninja and click on Create Reusable Invite. To create a link, all you have to do is click on Generate the Invite Link button. Then, scan the QR code from your smartphone and it will redirect you to another page of the video.ninja. Select Share Your Camera option. After that, hit the Start button and it will start the streaming on the OBS link. To set up a virtual cable, first, you have to load the module null sync module using the following command. And then, execute the given command to create a virtual audio source named Virtual Mic. Both commands will return some numbers that you don't have to worry about. Now, go to the system settings, and there you will find settings for sound. Next, go to the input section in there, you will find the option to choose an input device. Chose virtual mic as an input device. That's it. But, once you reboot the effect of virtual audio will be flushed and if you regularly want to use your phone as a camera and mic, it can be inconvenient. First, open the video.ninja tab that you opened earlier and copy the OBS link. Once copied, open OBS, and under the Sources section, you will find a plus button. Click that button and select Browser. It will open a little prompt to create slash select a source. Simply press the OK button. Finally, paste the link in the URL field. And soon, you will see OBS using your phone's camera. But there are a few extra steps to get audio from your phone. First, click on the file and choose Settings. There, choose Audio and look for the Advanced section. In the Advanced section, you will find an option for Monitoring Device and there you have to choose South Audio slash Sync Sync.
For most users, the audio should be working by now. But if yours don't then here's how you can make it work. In the audio mixer section, it will be either the browser or the desktop audio, or you may also see both of them. Click on those three dots for desktop audio or browser and choose advanced audio properties. From there, choose monitor and output for the browser and desktop audio. And that's it. You can enjoy the camera and mic from your phone. Remember, you have to create a virtual cable every time you reboot, but it won't take much time as it takes two command executions.